seven decades of art with a connection to the Caribbean. Life Between Islands at Tate Britain is the first time a British museum with an international reputation is showcasing Caribbean British art. These are, these are histories, recent histories, we need to mine and we need to show their significance for today and we need to show how they've continued through artistic practices through today. It's a walk through that history from the first artists arriving in the late 1940s. Artists exploring the dynamics of living between two cultures. She ain't holding them up, she's holding on, looks at the strength often expected of black women and points to the difficulties of maintaining her heritage while forging one's own identity. The Black Power movement of the 60s and 70s, documented by photographers calling out racism and discrimination. The social and economic life of immigrants recorded as they settled and became established in Britain. If there wasn't that influx of people coming from the Caribbean here, you wouldn't get the richness of British art we've got today. You wouldn't get the question of how diverse British art is today. Filmmaker Steve McQueen provides a metaphor for the black diaspora as they navigate life in Britain. A bay in Jamaica overflowing with foliage, juxtaposed with failing hotels, illustrates the joy of living with natural beauty amidst the reality of economic hardship. Since first arriving to fill labor shortages more than 70 years ago, People from the Caribbean have had a vast influence on Britain. Every aspect of British life has been enriched by four generations of people who came from islands across the Atlantic. It's an important historic show, planned before Black Lives Matter and the Black Cultural Renaissance. Current events giving the exhibition even greater impact. Jessica Baldwin, Al Jazeera, London.